Wow! <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible. Away. Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this that's is Dixie. Dixie and, and we're, we're Love Hunt, Hunt for Life. Where are we at today, Kelsey? We are hanging out at the Perrin Community Center, mm -hmm. but that's not important. What's important is why we're here. We're meeting a guy named Brent Rickard to go and check out a mine in Arkansas. Not just any mine. This is a rock farm. It's a whole rock farm. They farm rocks here. I'm very excited. I hope we find some big honkers today. Yeah, yeah, guys. So we spend a lot of time digging for crystals in this area but usually we are just going into the forest and seeing what we can find for free today we're willing uh, to pay to go and check out this private mine and we are going to give you a 100 percent honest review of this place i think it's going to be an awesome day i have no doubts all right guys we are on the move we've got about a five mile drive until we arrive at willie rickard's rock farm we just met Brent and he seems to be a really awesome guy. His his first impression of the love hunt was, wow, that's bizarre. I like that. I, I like do too. What people describe it, as. it definitely made us laugh and uh, I think that we've got a new friend in front of us and cannot wait to see what today holds. Y'all stay tuned. Green phantom in that one. Wow. There's a green phantom in that one. This one's got a green phantom inside a green phantom. They're both got inclusions. Whoa. This penetrator here, they said that was the best specimen they ever seen come from the state in two <laughs> ways, being a green chloride included and a penetrator. I've never seen one like that. And then these, these wand formations are oddities because I believe the chloride changed the growth pattern. Mm -hmm. So it changed to like, instead of wanting to be six sided, they'll go to three sides. So he family had this land all these years and they said they were just using it for other purposes. They had no yeah. idea. Yeah. Didn't care. <laughs> family came here in 1865. Yeah. And then they cut all the native timber and about five families prospected everything up here. Oh. And in 1902, they bought the properties. Yeah. So anywhere they seen big white head rock, they thought gold or silver. Yep. So Mr. Willis started digging 1902 to 1940 he was 200 foot deep internally in the mountain, shore walled in. <laughs> and uh, no gold. Then the government, well, he was doing something for 40 years. He had to have been making a living. Right. I don't know why he was digging 200 foot and not making a living, but right. he had to have been making a living. So, <laughs> 1940, the government had an interest in the clear courts for the bombs and the radios. Yeah. And, um, and then he brought out 200 tons of gym quality quartz in a year and a half. It was already, oh, I got that. It was protected <laughs> in the mountain. Well, that's a way to start out the day, guys. It's a carrot in front of your face. <laughs> now you got to beat this. Right? That's our that's our gift from Brent to start the day. It's definitely going to be an awesome one. Look at this place. It's a dream, y'all. <laughs> There's a little hole I've been working on. We have been drenched with rain. As suggested by Brent, I've been working around this big white head rock. And as you can see, they've been digging this area for decades now. But Kelsey told me to come see, so we're gonna come see. So, so guys, I just moved this big rock out of the way and then, Oh no. All of these are just right on top, like without even having to to dig. Mm -hmm. It's so muddy that I don't even know if you guys can see how awesome this is, but we'll get them all cleaned up. That one really does not want to stay. I need to go find the bag. Well, let's keep flipping rocks. <laughs> Yeah. 
you are covered in mud. <laughs> I mean, it'd be kind of hard not to. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Totally. <laughs> that's like peanut butter. That's how you know it's the good stuff. It may just stay. Guys, I gotta say, today has been absolutely awesome you guys know if you've been following us for a while that we have no problem telling you if a mine isn't worth the money or is a bad experience in this case we are telling you that if you are ever close by you should most certainly check out Willie Rickards Rock Farm Shane is in the process of moving all of our gorgeous finds from today out of the bags and over to a milk crate so that we can go back tomorrow. Because <laughs> we just didn't get enough, right? Nope, nope, we did not. <laughs> and find some more. What do you think, Dixie? While we're back at it. Me and Kelsey worked on cleaning out this area yesterday. Right underneath our feet is more of these huge head rocks. So what we're doing is digging around them. And it looks like he's firing up his machine to work on that big pit. Today's gonna be fun. Happy birthday, Brent. As you all can see, our caverns got a lot deeper throughout the day and then we moved out of the way so Brent could run that machine and we are getting it easy this, oh, is, this is so much easier this is the direct tailings from that pit down there and we've been allowed to just dig through it it's so soft and so easy Oh, look at that big hole down there. They're gonna find some awesome, awesome stuff though. I'm already finding awesome stuff up here. <laughs> I would say this place is unlike any we've dug at. Wouldn't you, Kels? For sure. And the people are really awesome too. <laughs> right, it feels like you're actually digging with people versus paying a million to dig a hole on their land. Oh my god, that's incredible. Way. You almost licked it. <laughs> <laughs> I might. <laughs> wow. Come on, be beautiful. Oh my god. It worked. <gasps> <laughs> wow. Oh wow, that's awesome. Look at all those red inclusions. No, that's on the outside. It's just... That's good and clear. It's just icy. Be good. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. So cool, man. It is time to clean some crystals. As you can see, we've already started a little bit on some of the bigger ones. Oh my God, this was an awesome experience. We've dug a whole lot of holes, guys, but never have we accomplished this in two days. To tell you the truth, we are not even sure what all we accomplished because all of this is so covered in mud, but hopefully that will be a little bit better by the end of the day 
and we'll be able to get some pictures and videos of all of these. I'm just blown away. All right, guys, so after a couple of days of letting them sit and doing the best that we can to clean them up with a pot and lake water, we've got a big pile of rocks over here, but that's to be expected when you're throwing everything that cuts your finger into a bag to clean later. And the reason we do that is so that we can go home with really, really awesome finds like this one, that one. Oh my. Wow, that one's so gorgeous. We still got some to clean up, of course, but this will give you an idea. And there's a slideshow coming of the clean ones soon. Guys, this was an absolutely incredible experience. We've we spent a lot of time going to a lot of different mines and uh, digging a whole lot of holes in the ground. And this weekend was super, super fun. We can't recommend Willie Rickard's Rock Farm enough, not only because there are obviously really, really awesome crystals to be found there, but also because it is filled with really, really great people. And when you pay money to dig there, you're helping support a really awesome family that we couldn't be more grateful for. I think the biggest part of this is the fact that it's not a rock mine. It's a rock hounding spot. And it is full of people that just genuinely get it. They understand why it's exciting to pull that shiny crystal out of the ground and they want to experience it with you. I can't suggest enough that you guys go experience it with them. Give them a call and go see what it's all about. I promise you won't regret it. And you might even find a big yellow house there because this certainly will not be the last time we visit. Peace out guys, have a good one. Be sure and hit those subscribe buttons and come back to see where we drive this thing next. Bye y'all. Bye y'all. <laughs>